on one where a challenging day at the office brings Craig's passion bubbling back to the surface. When was your last drug trial? Nearly a month ago. I took the stuff, they checked my vitals for three weeks, the usual. If I don't remove the dead tissue right now... He could lose a limb. Exactly. If Barbara Chill is responsible, I will make them look after you, OK? I swear. Has not. The necrosis was worse than I thought. He lost four toes. Bastards. Craig. Well, if he can't stand on a surfboard, he can't teach anyone, can he? No job, no career. This could just be the beginning. We should prepare him. We should figure out what's wrong with him first. Try and turn this thing around. Well, have you made any progress with Bravatil? If you count a splitting headache. Keep fobbing me off. You can't be sure about that. They're buying time. I know a cover-up when I see one. Well, what about the other kid on the trial? Um, what was his name? Uh, Matthew Hardcastle, who was not answering his phone. Well, it's the middle of the night in the UK. Could just be a deep sleeper. Yeah, or he could be lying on an operating table getting his toes cut off as well. Either way, I'm going to find him. You're going to ring every hospital in London? If I have to. Good luck. You're going to need it. Matthew Hardcastle. He took part in the Bravatil drugs trial. My name doesn't ring any bells, but I'll check the admissions list. Thank you. Mm, no one by that name has been admitted, Dr. Valentine, and no one with the symptoms you described either. OK, look, if Matthew does come in, or anyone who took part in the Bravatil trial, can you let me know? It's very important. Mm, sure. I have your number. OK, thank you. Noah's awake. He's asking for you. OK, I'll be right there. <clears throat> Hello. Uh, yeah, hello. I'm looking for a Matthew Hardcastle. <clears throat> Speaking. Uh, hello, Matthew. It's Dr. Craig Valentine. I'm calling from New Zealand. Can we go somewhere else? This is our local. He's not chasing us out. Come on. United Front, remember? Just two last days, thanks. Coming right up. Weirdo. You're never going to tell me what's going on. Oh, it's nothing, don't worry about it. You're squashing me. Sorry? You don't have to put on a display. I told Hunter that I'm with you. Nothing is going to break us up. I know. I wouldn't look pretty on my surfboard, but it could have been worse, right? Anytime you guys want to crack a smile. Look, it's not over, mate. There's still a high possibility that you'll develop further complications. Like? Why don't we cross that bridge when we come to it? Hey, man. Do I have a handle with care sticker on me? I want to know what I'm up against. You could be facing the possibility of infertility, organ failure, even long and short-term memory loss. So... I'm stuffed. Have you reached Matthew yet? Yeah, I have, and he's OK. He hasn't experienced any symptoms. Tell him to buy a lottery ticket. I'd like you to get some rest, Noah. Hey, don't worry. I'm on this. And I'll stay on it till I get some answers. Okay? Okay. Bloody Bravatil. I wish we could drag their execs in here and show them exactly what they've done. What if it's not their fault? What if it's something else? We don't know. Oh, come on, Justine. They pumped him full of BR 1510. Hell only knows what's in that stuff. Noah's reaction could be idiosyncratic. Like you said, that Matthew guy wasn't affected. Matthew was one other guinea pig. Who are the others? How are they doing? Nobody knows because nobody's talking. Please, you're not thinking this is a conspiracy, are you? I'm thinking that maybe Matthew was on a low dose. Maybe a placebo. That would explain his lack of symptoms. Maybe. But Noah is a drug cowboy. Who knows what else is lurking in his system? Also, oh, it's his fault. It is possible that this drug has reacted with traces of other experimental drugs in his system. Or with recreational drugs. Oh, so he's a junkie now? I'm being realistic. You're making assumptions. And so are you, Craig. Only because Bravatil will not answer my calls. Let me know when you get a hold of them. You can count on it. My mother's gone home! Hey! <laughs> 
guys. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'll miss her, but it's where she needs to be. Hard day? No, I'm just tired. Expecting a call, Tans. It's just noisy in here. I thought I'd check. Well, Kingy is a busy man. Doesn't have lots of time for calling and texting unless he... Not the speech again. Well, how about a PowerPoint presentation, Tanya? Because he is bad news. Do not get involved with him. A couple of drinks and a chat is not involved. Although chance would be a fine thing. <sighs> hey, if I judged every book by its cover, you and I would not be friends. Watch yourself, Missy. Yes, officer. Here we go. Woo! I'm expert myself, so this should be perfect. I have to go to the ladies. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. There you go. Excuse me. We should probably get another oh. one then. Yeah. I have to go. Okay, people, please. please. Look, you're driving me crazy. I can't get you out of my head. Hunter, Hi. don't. I don't right. get how things go with Gerald. I don't get them at all, but you've chosen him, and I have to accept no, that. I'm so glad that you can understand that. It doesn't have to be the end. What? Well, what then? I want to keep on seeing you. But I thought you just said that you can. I want to see you as much as I can, and then you go back to Gerald, and I'll just have to cope. You are not serious. <sighs> well, if the alternative is losing you, then that is the most disgusting idea I've ever heard. Well, I don't like it either, but if it's the only way I can be with you, you can't live like that. You can't even treat you like that, like some sex object. It's not right. Did you write down the symptoms? Yes, I got it. Thanks for your call. Look, it's important. I have a seriously ill young man here, OK? He took part in a Bravatil Labs drug trial. You need to know what to look for in case you admit any of the trialees. Bravatil trialees. I'll uh, pass it on. Bye. <sighs> Thank you. Dr. Valentine? Uh, yeah, I'm here. We do have a patient with those symptoms. They're not as severe as you describe, but they are very similar. Uh, and was your patient part of the Bravatil trial? Yes. They confirmed taking BR 1510. Oh, thank you. And can you let me know if any other trialees are admitted, please? Sure. And how your patient progresses? Certainly. I'll email you. And you might want to take a look at Bravatil's statement, too. What statement? It's in all the morning papers. Thank you, Mary. You've been great. Happy to help. Bye. Bye-bye. I couldn't put it down. What took you so long? I got chatting to Shanti. She was telling me about her mum's new job. What's Shobna doing? She's a wedding consultant or something. Or something. I wasn't really the greatest listener. How come? Probably too many cocktails and not enough to eat. Did Hunter cause any trouble? No, he kept his distance. Really? He must have got the message when he saw us earlier. You and me, a tight team. That's how it is. You're lying. What? You haven't been able to look at me since you walked in. You're right, Hunter and I... Oh, I knew it. We talked, that's it. Uh-huh. Please don't go all paranoid on me. I was wondering why you sprinted off so quickly tonight. Turns out you can't stay away from the guy. I didn't sprint anywhere, and I wanted you to come with me, if you remember. Okay, okay, so I'm paranoid. Can you blame me? Yes, actually, I can. 
You have to own some of this mess. Excuse me? I regret sleeping with Hunter that night. I really do. But you're the one who pushed him my way. You're the one who gave me permission. So excuse me if I got a little confused there. But this compromise we've agreed to, it is hard work. You are not the only one compromising around here. I've just spent the whole night worrying about you. You and Hunter getting down and dirty. Who knows where? Who knows how many times? That's what I call hard work. And to be honest, I don't know how many more of these nights I can take. I didn't sleep with Hunter tonight. Oh, yeah, whatever. And I don't want to because I love you. I'm going to bed. Can I come too? Suit yourself. Yes, thank you very much. Useless uncooperative pomp. Do you know what the time is? Do you? No, I've been patching up a lacerated liver. What's your excuse? Did Justine tell you about Noah Schwartzman? Um, lost four toes, is that right? Yeah, and I need to find out why before he loses anything else. What did Bravatil say? I'm not talking to me. In the papers, they're denying any link. Tosses. You'll probably need some facts before you call them that out loud. I have Noah, who has the same symptoms as this guy in the UK. How's that for a fact? I bet there are others. Let Bravatil deny that. You're not calling them now. Calling every hospital in London, looking for trilees. You're mad. You got a better idea? Craig, those volunteers could be anywhere in the world. Noah is in New Zealand, for goodness sake. I have to help him, Chris. No one else is. You're not going to help anyone if you keel over at your desk. OK, all right, fine. I'll take a break. Anything to stop you nagging. Wait a minute, I'm not going anywhere. Private till try I've found them. Well, that's just great, but you can't sit here all night. If I keel over, I keel over. OK? You look as bad as me. I had a late one. How you doing? Ah, uh, you know, just a bit of projectile vomiting. But my head hasn't turned 360, so I reckon I'll be okay. How long has that been going on for? An hour or so. anti nausea meds will kick in soon. That's what I for. I have news. Two hot nurses are going to come and give me a sponge bath. I found more trilees. Three of them are in hospital. London. I tracked others to Birmingham, Manchester, even Brussels. And three of them are in a bad way. And I thought I was special. It's proof. It means that Bravatil can't deny there's a link between your drug trial and your symptoms any longer. They'll have to cough up the information that we need. Will it help me? The data will give us a list of the trialees, who was given what dose, the exact contents of the drug. Yeah, but, but will it help me? We'll be able to use the information to guide your treatment. I don't want treatment. I want a cure. There's no cure. We can't reverse the damage, mate. Thanks for the good news, Doc. Hey, did you see Morgan here last night? Uh, yeah, she popped in with um, Scotty's group. Had a few drinks and some dinner. Did she leave during dinner? Yeah, I don't think so. Well, can you be a little bit more specific, or is that too hard for you? Gerald? So, sorry. Sorry, it's just I can't deal with this. Well, I can only sympathise if I know what this is. I thought she might have left with Hunter. Why would she... All right, what's going on? At the dance party that night, I told Morgan... I gave her permission to sleep with Hunter, and so she did. You what? I gave her permission to... Yes, I heard you the first time. What the hell did you do that for? To save my relationship. Oh, let me guess, it made things worse. <sighs> yeah, I thought I'd be all right with it. She has needs, I don't. I thought it was only fair that she got her needs met. Right. But now I... I can't stand the sight of the guy. Good, because that's jealousy talking. Why? Jealousy is healthy. It's telling you that no matter what's going on inside the bedroom, you are the man in this relationship and there's only room for one man. So, cut the other one out. How? I have no idea, I'm sorry. But you best think of something soon, Sunshine. You can kiss Morgan goodbye for good. Yeah, I saw your pathetic disclaimer. And you can deny it till you're blue in the face. But the fact is several of your trilays are in hospital and your drug is to blame. We're very grateful you've brought this to our attention, Dr. Valentine, but we need to run our own inquiry before we can. Oh, cut the crap. You need to release the trial data. We need to know which trilees were in which subgroups so they can be cross-referenced and a pattern identified. 
That's confidential information. We can't release it. If anyone dies, breaching confidentiality will be the least of your problems. Now, are you going to release the information or not? I can't authorise that, Dr. Valentine, but we'll take your concerns into consideration. Look, don't think I'm going to give up just... Hello? Express, Jeff speaking. Uh, yeah, hi Jeff, it's Dr. Craig Valentine speaking. I have information about the Bravatil drug trial. Information the public has a right to know. Oh, hang on mate, I'll just uh, grab a pen there, right there. You'll catch a fly. Ah, uh, well, right, I have to go see Gerald immediately. No, you dare say a word to him. Gerald is my friend and he's in a crisis. It's obvious that he needs my help. What he needs is to be left alone. Well then why did you tell me? Ah, I thought it was an interesting arrangement. Lending your girlfriend out to be serviced when you don't feel up to it. I thought we could try to if you felt so inclined. We are so not inclined. Who's inclining? Not me, not him, not you or Morgan anymore. Have you got it? You guys know. Yeah, everything. Unbelievable. Gerald wants the whole world knowing how tragic he is. Watch it, Hunter. Yeah, I know he's your mate, but you have to admit it's all a bit weird. Look, I don't pretend to know how it all works for Gerald. But one thing I do know is that he's into Morgan. Really into her. So am I. I am. Yeah, if you say so. But geez, mate, you sure don't know how to pick him. What? First Tess. She's out of bounds, but in you go anyway. Now roll on Morgan again out of bounds. She is in the zone. Take it from me. She's with Gerald. Only because she feels sorry for the guy. I mean, she's not even happy, Kieran. How could she be? Under. Gerald's my friend. Yes, he's a bit different, we know that, but I also know that he would do anything for Morgan. He'd walk through traffic for her. And one thing is for sure, he would never do anything to hurt her. And I'm guessing that's why she's chosen to stay with him. Yeah, for now. You still feeling nauseous? Just a headache. And I'm shaking like I'm cold, but I'm not. Tremor should pass. I'll get Shanti to bring you some pain relief. More drugs. Good one. You've got to stay positive, Noah. Things are starting to move along. Bravatil's opening up. Not yet, but they will. And if I have anything to do with it, they'll be forking out big time too. Compensation? That's what I'm thinking. No, I signed all those forms. Consent and all that? You didn't consent to being left out in the cold if something went wrong. The least they can do is support you while you're sick, while you can't work. Pay for a big flash funeral. Hey, come on. Think of your mates who are in the same boat. A few bucks would help out their families, right? Yeah, sorry. I'm just being a moaner. Fair enough, too. Hey, I uh, know you said there's no cure, but maybe they'll hurry the research up, uh, you know, stop us from getting any worse, maybe? Yeah, maybe. You're one in a million, Doc. Three Sims are wrong. Just ask Demi Moore. She slept with Robert Redford and it completely ruined her relationship with Woody Allen. It was Woody Harrelson. It doesn't matter who it was or whether he was a non-starter in the bedroom. It was wrong. First of all, it wasn't technically a threesome. And anyway, it was just a movie. And secondly, I don't want my personal life to become public knowledge. Are you calling me a gossip? No, I'm just... Because I am the soul of discretion. I'm perfectly capable. What's going on? Nothing. You're right. What's a goss? I'm planning a surprise for Karen, and Morgan is helping me do it. Oh, cool. What is it? I wouldn't be surprised if I told you, would it? Okay, be that way. See? Gerald doesn't trust me anymore, understandably. And I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to do either. So you don't hate me? No, of course not. I've been thinking, how is this all going to work for you? Because if Karen was asexual, I think after a few weeks I'd probably... Implode? No relationship is easy. You have to be compatible in all areas, especially in the big three. The big three? Intellectual, emotional and sexual. I read about it in How to Hook a Man and Keep Him Nibbling on Your Line. You can borrow it if you like. Two out of three isn't bad, right? Mm. I think you know the answer to that. I do. So it's time for me to sort a few things out, isn't it? 
Uh, where are you from again? The Northerner, Ferndale office. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, well, just give me half an hour and call me back, all right? Sure thing. Uh, see ya. Right up. It's time to see me being famous, isn't it? Talking to a few reporters is hardly fame. So, uh, what do I say when they ask me for comment? Craig Valentine is right. Craig Valentine is right. And stubborn and hard-headed and does not know when to stop. And Noah and his guinea pig mates are lucky to have him on their side. So, how about a drink, my shout? Uh, it's tempting, but I've got a few more calls to make it. Not more reporters. No, other trial leagues. I want to speak to their doctors, see if we can put our heads together on this one. <laughs> uh, it's good to have you back, Craig. Well, where have I been? Oh, I don't know. Some place where you forgot a few things, forgot what a damn fine doctor you are. <sighs> I had it all planned what I was going to say. Well, then listen to what I have to say. Because I didn't make myself clear last night. It's not just about sex. I really care about you, Morgan. And I know I'm falling for you. I think I might even love you. Dad. Don't and I know that you really care about Gerald. I mean, that's obvious. But it's obvious that it won't work in the long term. And you know that. Do you know about the big three? Can I phone a friend? Ask the audience? <laughs> For a relationship to succeed, you need the big three. Emotional, intellectual and sexual compatibility. Sounds about right. I don't have all those with Gerald, but yeah. it, it doesn't it's matter. It's not your fault. No, it's not. But it is my problem. Yeah, well, not anymore. Don't. It is my problem, and I will sort it out on my own with Gerald, not you. You're killing me here, Morgan. I'm sorry that I've hurt you, and I've hurt Gerald, but I can't keep causing all this pain. So are you going to cut me loose for him, for second best? I'm cutting you loose because I'm not interested in you. I just don't want you. Simple as that. The bait is set and budding entrepreneurs and inventors are lured into the Dragon's Den once more. Don't miss the brand new series starting next Sunday evening at half past nine.